Hello and welcome to my channel. I have found a few really great items at Grocery Outlet lately. So I wanted to go to some more grocery outlets to see if I could find some more of this stuff, maybe find new stuff. I'm sourcing a town I have never been to. I've never heard of it and it wasn't that far from me. So I thought, why not check it out? It's Oakley. It's just east of San Francisco. The drive out here was so pretty. There's like mountains and flowers and orchards and cherry farms. California is just so pretty. Let's get in here. I'm excited. <music> grocery outlet and I like to look at the stuff that's right next to the front door because usually that's good stuff. I found something that I normally sell and replan but the price has kind of gone down so I'm gonna pass for now because I keep seeing these everywhere and if the price recovers then I will buy more. But I did find something new by the door that I've never sold before. I picked it up for $2.49 and it should profit $5.20. So I got four to test buy because I've never sold these before. Just a friendly reminder to always check the dates when you're sourcing in Grocery Outlet because sometimes they're close to expiring or they're already expired. So check the date first before you scan it. I wound up going down the medicine aisle and I was looking for things that I've got in the past and I was also keeping my eye out for new things but I didn't find anything. I searched through the deodorant and soap because I've had luck lately in the deodorant and soap but again unfortunately I didn't find anything and I got down to beauty and I wound up finding a replen. I buy these for $3.99. I've sold them before. They have a really low rank and they sell super fast. Unfortunately, they only make like $2 each. They sell so fast, so I'm just gonna make my $2 on each of these and I got four. Then I found another beauty item. I wound up paying $12.99 and I'll profit $4, but these have a really low rank and I love selling this brand because it is always selling good. Well, is it good or well? Anyways, I like it. I could only find two and I'll profit $4 on each of those. Then on the very bottom shelf, I found something that I've gotten in the past and I was excited to see it because I pay $10 for it and then I profit seven and I got three. Something I noticed different about this grocery outlet is the prices are higher. I don't know if it's because I'm closer to San Francisco or what, but the prices here were almost three or four dollars more expensive. What can you do? Next was kitchen and cleaning, and I've been having luck with the kitchen and cleaning stuff lately, but not today. And then I headed to pet, and I've had my eye out for this specific pet item that I've only found in one grocery outlet. I can't seem to find it in any of the other grocery outlets. Oh, I'm getting hot. I did find a different pet item. The expiration date is just too close to send it to Amazon, so I'm going to FBM them. I actually listed them from my cart, which I never do, but I figured I'd give it a try. Paid $11.99 and I should profit about $6.73 on each of those. I whipped out my Rolo app and tried to calculate how much the shipping would be and I think it'll be between like 10 and $15. So when I put my calculations in, I just put it as $14 just to be on the high safer side. All that just to say I could potentially make more than $6.73 on each of these, we'll see. But I wound up getting three because that's all they had. Then I was starting to get into the groceries and I wasn't really finding anything. So then I went to coffee, tea, drinks, cause that's where I've had the most luck lately. And my phone wasn't working. I guess the deeper I got in the store, my phone was not getting signal, which has been happening a lot lately and it's so annoying. But what I would do is I would just put the stuff in my cart that I wanted to scan and then I would go back to the front of the store and wait till I had found a signal and then I would scan it. Unfortunately, everything that I wound up scanning didn't work out. So that is when I decided that I was done. 
I am ready to get out of here. It's just too hustly and bustly for me. There's people whizzing all around. We are set to go to the next grocery outlet. It's about 15 minutes away, so let's get rolling. Holy schmoly. So I just got to this grocery outlet and it was beautiful. It looks brand new. It's like its own building. It's not attached to anything else. I like some fancy stuff. I'm really excited to go in here and see what they have. I'm hoping mm, that the uh, prices aren't really high here like they were in the other store. Well, higher, I should say. Oh man, they're putting in a Chipotle too. I'm gonna grab some bags and get into this big, beautiful grocery outlet and let's hope we can find some stuff. grocery outlet and I moved to a shady spot because it's getting warmer out. I never thought that I would think that 56 degrees is hot, but here we are. I've just been out of Florida for too long. So grocery outlet number two was good. It is a very nice store. It's beautiful. Right away, I could tell it was so different. Just because the things that I was finding were things I haven't seen before at grocery outlets. So they had some different and new stuff. I wound up getting some more of a shampoo replen. The one that I pay like $9.99 and I get $4.98 on each of those and I got three. I found some more of a beauty product I found in the last store. So I went ahead and picked up six more. So I'll make $4 on each of those. Then I found some more lotion that I had found in the other store. So I got another bundle of those. Those I buy for $10 and they make seven each. And I got super lucky to find this item because I've sold these in the past, but they're getting harder and harder to find. And I found some here. You buy them for $21 and they make $16. So I will take that one bundle. It's coming with me. Man, I wish I could find more of those. I just, I'm keeping my eye out. I got another bundle of beauty stuff that I've sold in the past. These I pay 15 and I make seven and I only found enough for one. I got some more beauty cream that I found at the last store. I just got two more. I got four at the last store and I got two here. So I have six total. The further I got back in the store, my phone stopped working again. Super duper annoyed. So what I've been doing is taking pictures of things that I want to scan when I'm in the store and then I'll look through them later and source them. I have been successful doing that. So I took some more photos. I will source them later, I guess. That's all I can do. Oh, and I got auto ungated in all Mac. I will add that to my auto ungating spreadsheet. It is just a list of everything that I've ever been auto ungated in. So you can try to get auto ungated too. It's totally free. You just go to my blog, JeanetteSteel.com, sign up for the blog and you will get access to the sheet. So then I went down the cleaning aisle, which I used to just sniff the cleaning aisle, but lately, lately I've been sourcing it and it is paying off. I wound up finding a cleaning product that I paid $4.99 for and it should profit $10. And I got four to try out because I checked Keepa and Amazon usually sells on this, but they just so happen to be sold out. So right now is a perfect time to just jump on the listing, sell a few, why not? I didn't want to go too deep because Amazon can come back on these and I've seen these in the other um, grocery outlets so I didn't want to get a whole bunch here when I can I know I can find them in ones that are closer to me if I can just sell these four I'll make 40 bucks and then I found another cleaning item that I actually shared in the coast to coast flips group it is a lead sharing group that retail rogue and I started together our group is pretty small right now but the people in there are amazing real quick I just want to read you something someone wrote today because it made my day a member of the group said I wanted to say thank you to this group every time I have went into a big lots 
I have come out empty handed, so I gave up on that store. But because of the group and the Bolo's share, she gave it another chance and all she can say is wow. I went in Thursday and scanned everything and found so many profitable items that sold out over the weekend. So today I went again to another one and I've already sold two items that were on the Bolo group. I'm so glad I gave this store another chance. Don't give up, go back to the store and scan. You never know what you will find. Ah! I am so happy. That just made my entire day, probably my entire week. So the Coast to Coast Flips group is out here, basically making everybody's life amazing. So that made my day and I just wanted to share it with you. So if you wanna join, wink, wink, Give ours a shot. Go to coasttocoastamz.com. Check it out and join us. Come on. All right, so back to grocery outlet. Where was I? Hmm. Then I was struggling. I mean, like totally struggling through the store because my phone wasn't working. I was going up and down all the aisles, checking all the grocery stuff. Wasn't finding anything. I took a lot of pictures. I tried going to the front door and scanning some stuff. It wasn't working and then I gave up. There's only so much my heart can take. So according to my very quick mediocre math, I think we've profited about $191 today just by going to two grocery outlets. Not too shabalabby. I would totally come back to these grocery outlets again. They weren't too far from my house. It was nice to go explore some different areas. You just never know what you're gonna find out here in the streets. But I am ready to go home, call it a day. I do have a little bit of inventory already at my house because I went shopping at Safeway. I will definitely be going out and sourcing some more this week. So I think that I'm gonna go home and I'm going to add all this stuff up. I'll add up everything from the rest of the week and I will let you know how much I should profit from this week's trips. I did wind up going out and sourcing some more this week, so keep an eye out for that video coming up. But I went ahead and added up everything for the week and I wound up with these four boxes. Average sales rank 65,725, total sales value 2,038, total buy cost 743, and a total net profit of 530. Not too shabby, and with that low sales rank, I should have a lot of pretty quick flips. And I do wanna mention that these amounts don't include all of the FBM I have been doing lately because I've been doing a whole lot more FBM lately. Even if it's just selling like one to three packages a day, it's more than what I used to. So I just wanted to mention that these are just my FBA profits and I've had more profits with my FBM also that are not included in these numbers. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna check out another sourcing video, I will put one here. Happy sourcing and I will see you next time. Bye.